The final step in the serials process is to check in or receive issues. From the subscriptions detail page you could click check in. Typically though, from the serials menu you'd be choosing check in and type in the name of the title you're receiving, in this case geographical. You can select it from a list. List of expected issues is displayed on the screen and they're colour coded. Some of them are listed as overdue, which means they've passed their expected date. And future issues are colour coded accordingly. To receive an issue, we click the receive box next to the issue we wish to receive. In this case, we'll click receive box next to January. You're prompted to scan in the barcode of the magazine. So you'd attach your school barcode and then scan it in. If you make a mistake, you can highlight the barcode and click the minus symbol. Otherwise, click apply. The number one appears next to receive, which, which indicates it's been received. If you make a mistake, you can simply click undo and the one will be moved back to the wait column. If you've got more than one issue to receive, you simply repeat the process. Go to the next issue you wish to receive, such as the February or the March issue. Click in the receive box. And as we did before, simply scan in the, bar, the school barcode you've attached to it and click apply. A one appears next to the receive. You don't need to receive them in order, nor need to, do you need to use consecutive barcodes. If an issue arrives that you're not expecting, you can click the add button to create a supplement or an issue you're not expecting. If we click the add button, specify how many copies you're receiving. If there's volume in issue information, enter that there. In this case, we're not using volume in issue information, so we'll just put a one in each of those. Then select the publication date. Let's say this is the 10th, 10th of June, 2017. The override issue description can be used if you don't want your component issue template to be used. Otherwise, the component issue template we set up will use the date to determine what it'll look like. In this case, we're going to say special global warming edition 2017 and click apply. If we look down our list of issues, we can see the issue we just added is displayed on the screen and to receive this issue, as we did for the others, we click the box next to the issue we wish to receive. Scan the barcode and click apply. If an issue is not going to arrive, perhaps they, uh, the publishers changed their mind and weren't going to receive a particular issue, click the delete option next to the issue that's not going to arrive. For example, click delete next to the April 2017 issue. That puts a tick next to delete. Let's say an issue description changes. Maybe they combine the April May issues together. We could click edit next to the May edition and simply change the description to say April, May 2017. So just change the description there and click apply. The description's then been changed and to receive that issue, we simply click receive on the right side of the screen. Scan in the barcode that we've attached to the magazine and click apply. Once you finish making changes, click save and process. Save and process will both save the records in the Oliver catalogue and also send any emails uh, for instant alerts that will be sent by email. Once you click save and process, you return to the check-in screen ready to enter the next title. So you simply click return and you're ready to enter the next title to receive the next issues.